hairpin. And that's weird, but very interesting. Nobody would, would build a track like that today. Subways would be the, the way to go with this car, actually. But that demands perfect track knowledge and pristine car handling skills, which I don't have. So we're heading down to Mullenbach, isn't it? Oh, Timo! Oh, no, 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 putting it on to the roof and back again, yeah. No damage. Try to re replicate that, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and connoisseurs of exquisite sim racing, it's here. The definitive version of the Nordschleife. It's out as a release candidate. This is the Gesamtstrecke Historic 1971 of the Nordschleife, including the Südschleife. That's the Nordschleife Historic 1971 and separately the Südschleife Historic 1971. And this is the one I will feature today in this little first drive, first impressions video. Let's go. Oh, wonderful. It's the old pits. <laughs> we, we, we've got fuel stations over there. <laughs> I have to investigate that a little later then. Oh, wow. Nostalgia. Pure nostalgia. Well, I wasn't alive when this one was uh, being used. Okay, and here then would be today's chicane to the right of course as we are going to the left onto the Südschleife wow Südschleife there we are Kalbeck Mosel in case you don't know most of the corner names or sections are are called after the little towns or districts locations they run through okay as, as you can clearly see I'm um, I'm not going fast, I'm just enjoying the scenery. Wow. This reminds me of Fat Elfie's tracks for a set of Corsa, like the Deutschlandring, for example. Wow, look at that. Even some leaves there. So cool. Wow. These are optimal settings. I mean, weather-wise, it's, it's time trial, so perfect conditions tweak them to your liking and race in the winter if you dare see that I mean 1971 and are you kidding me these are the safety devices the life precautions these wooden posts to the left and right and they're going here yeah and crashing Timo there was a corner wasn't there okay 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 oh Timo well let's take a little ex excursion here that's the pits <laughs> look at that Texaco Aral here we go refueling please guys all the historic sponsors wow what attention to detail Whoa, what's that what's that guys What's that? Look at that. Did they have this sign back in the 60s? Fantastic. <laughs> Today it's not so much about the times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're all cool. I don't want to go into the pits, guys. I hear, I hear my pins. So late. No. Bye bye. So let, let's do a proper lap here. And by proper, I mean. I don't want to crash. <laughs> Imagine go, going flat out over that crest. It's quite fitting with these cars. second gear everywhere because I do not dare to do anything else okay 
Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Stay on the road, Timo. Still valid. Up to fourth. I will definitely have to learn that track. As far as I know, I've, I've never driven on the Suitschleife in any sim. Perhaps I have in, in an old game as, as a mod. I'm not sure, but I don't have any any memory of it. Wow. Now imagine going here with a Porsche 908 for a thousand kilometers or 40 and 50 laps over the whole Nordschleife plus Südschleife over the, the Gesamtstrecke. So dangerous. At least from today's standards, that's of course irresponsible. Now, a different sort of waltz. Let's call them natural armcos. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be a, a straight, I guess. Okay, a little pop-ups. My frame rate, my frame rate's not the best here, for whatever reason. It's only 63 FPS. Normally, I, I got around 100 or more. Oh, that, that's a tight one. That's a tight one. All right. What a demanding track. And oh, another bridge. And we're back on the main straight. Ah, I see. Okay, cool. So that's the seven kilometers of the Südschleife. And I did a valid lap. Oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not, ah. Oh. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, that's, it's the Steilkurve, sort of. Wow. And now we're back. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Reminding me a little of, of old Monza. Where to break? I don't know. Somewhere. Whoops. And done. I'm not an expert on the Südschleife, don't get me wrong. But the, the mere fact that we have this now in a contemporary sim makes me want to cry. Actually, it's so cool. MS2 has always been good on, on that side. Namely, historic content, vintage content, classic content, and it can only get stronger with this release. Please don't judge me too hard, guys. I mean, of course, this is not race speed. This is my, my third proper lap here. And I'm still trying to suck in as much as I can. Probably this is this is the back straight actually. First gear, wow, okay. So demanding and I mean fast guys will go sideways through here through everywhere with these cars. This is a weird weird section. Another long straight, parallel to the actual uh, start-finish straight. Very interesting. Now into this banked corner. Oh. Hairpin. Now that's weird, but very interesting. Nobody would, would build a track like that today. <laughs> so, so cool. This is, of course, the Porsche 911 RS74. And see how that one fares. Oh, stock setup. Let's just do it. This just fits, guys. This just fits. The car, the sound, the track, the visuals. Yeah, but not the driver. Man, come on. The only thing that's not great is the frame rate, actually. Lower than 60 now. Let's see how fast I can take these corners. It's so hard to see where to go. <laughs> Still a lot of pop-ups. Doesn't seem very optimized technically, but I don't want to complain. I mean, 
going off. Okay. Track limits. This lap will be deleted. Yeah. Bit of sightseeing. Any somewhere? Anywhere? Where can we go? Hello, Meadow. Here we are. Hi. Ah, look at that. That's the way to the. Uh... What variant is that? And how far can we go there? Can this also be included? I'm not sure. Okay, I see. And man, it's so difficult this corner, man. What's going on? <laughs> it feels like skating, skating on ice. Almost no grip. So we're heading down to Mullenbach, isn't it? Ah, oh, Timo! Oh, no, 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 putting it on to the roof and back again, yeah. It's quicker the other There's no damage, we can carry on. No damage. Try to re replicate that, boys. Razor nails it with their historic content. Kialami, Bathurst, Spa, Imola, Monza, now the Nordschleife. Not to forget Silverstone. So much vintage and classic vibes. And it gets me, although I wasn't even born at the time and don't have any vivid memory about it. It's so cool. Let me just for once take the, the reshade off. Oh, wow. That, that's a factor, guys. Wow. Yeah, the reshade's taken away 40 FPS. Woo! So forget what I said about optimizing. Now, now I'm running about 100. Pretty cool and... Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, didn't know that these bushes were solid. But okay, I'm taking it. Yeah. Bit of suspension damage, nothing critical. Oh no, God! Oh, ooh, almost hurt my my thumb there. Wow, that was a biggie. Ouch! Your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. It is. It is. Okay. Be careful when driving old cars. Ah. No power steering. Ah. And it snaps at you. I was lucky here. To get my hand out of out of the wheel right in time sideways would be the the way to go with this car actually but that demands perfect track knowledge and pristine car handling skills which i don't have let's go back to second put it sideways over the crest, under the bridge, oh yeah, and just hoping for the best as the car wobbles from left to right and... Oh. I mean, it doesn't have that much power, but... Nevertheless, it, it, it doesn't want to go into a straight line. I mean, perhaps the, the track surface, the grip level is uh, just above ice, I don't know. At least it, it feels like a like a uh, rally stage on tarmac. <laughs> God damn it. But of course it's a new toy for us sim racers here to play around with and perhaps it's I'm not sure, I mean if there are any other switch life um versions out there except for mods which can be great for other games i think there is one for a set of course I correct me if i'm wrong and perhaps for for even older titles gt legends and stuff The only pity is, or one of the pities is that there are not many cars in the current AMS2 catalog 
which originally raced there. I mean, I'm thinking about early prototypes, such as the Porsche 908, which actually raced here uh, in the 1,000 kilometers of the Nordschleife. The vintage Formula cars are there, classic Formula cars. No, excuse me, the, the retro Formula cars are there. That's true. But on the touring car and prototype side, not so sure. I mean, even this car here, the Porsche, is actually a bit too young for, for this variant. But nevertheless, it's super fun and it's, it's quite fitting, if you, if you ask me. That's a tight one. Very interesting layout. I mean, nobody would build a track thus today. And I'm so slow. The current best is a 258 with this car class. Oh God. Again too late. Okay, guys, uh, it's not getting any better. All right, Timo, we need to watch these track limits. I'm trying, Jim, I'm trying. And I'm really thankful again for, for this edition. It enlarges the historical content of Amos 2, where Amos 2 has always been strong with an iconic variant. And I've only looked into the suit schleife here for this video. It looks superb, it runs superb, and it feels superb. It has this vintage, retro, classic feel to it. A lot of nostalgia and it's definitely a super cool layout to do fast times in. And I'm really looking forward uh, to riding the whole layout, doing endurance races there. For today, that's it. That's my first impressions, my first ride on the brand new Suitschleife in AMS2. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one. All the best to you. Bye.